mouth or close your eyes. Here comes a nice surprise. Skittledy dum and skittledy do. I got some spinach for all of you. Here you are. Pip-Eye, Peep-Eye, Pup-Eye, and Poop-Eye. But we hate spinach. Huh? <laughs> you gotta eat your spinach if you wants to be strong like your great-great-great-great-great-uncle Hercules. Hercules! Our uncle! He was strong! He was great! Did he get that way from the spinach he ate? Soikenly, it's a hysterical fact. I'll tell you the story how it happened. Once upon a time, a long time ago, in a distant land far away, they lived the strongest man in the world, and the people's best friend, Hercules. One day, while Hercules was riding along in his chariot, he saw a baby boy fall off a tree. Jumping out of his chariot, he ran to the boy to see what happened. Now, so as he can help the boy, he has to get strength. So, he takes a piece of strong garlic and sniffs it. <laughs> and with his strength, he pushed and pushed and pushed the big tree into the oit. Hercules was awful strong, but very tender. It was garlic that made him strong. Where does the spinach part belong? Uh, don't come to inclusions. You ain't heard everything yet. Like I was saying, one day, a big, bull-headed bully come to Hercules' neighborhood. <laughs> so... Hercules thinketh him strongest man on earth. <laughs> In my hands, he be like the toy. Scrab it! Help it! Help it! Help it! Challenge thee. I accept it. I accept it. I accept it. I accept it. So Hercules accepted the big bully's challenge to feats of strength. Top this, Spart. spinach what made him win. Don't interrupt me. I ain't finished yet. So, mounting to mountings, the men challenged each other in a tug of war. Get it ready. Set it. Go. <laughs> Good blow and thou art true. 
without garlic. Better than garlic is spinach. So Hercules knocked the big bully for a row of ash cans. So, kiddies, that's why you has to eat your spinach. Huh? Ice cream is hot stuff. You said it, sport.
Popeye sure is a sucker for an April Fool gag.
fish market is two blocks down. I turn to the right. <laughs> Olive. Takes a look at yourself in the mirror, Addy, and sees how funny you looks.
Okay, now on it. I'll go steer the ship. There's something very fishy about this ship. Blow your head off. See if 
right there. It's nice and warm here, and I got plenty of food. Go in and blow. Of 
Here you are, folks, see the wonders of the moon, only ten cents. Here you are, folks, see the wonders of the moon, only ten cents. May I have a look, mister? Sure, sonny. Step right... Huh? A nose! A monster. Let's capture him for the king. Keep fighting! 
Let me down, you coward, and fight like a man. Gosh, they need help. of my people. I like thee, Sir Friend Casper. Casper, the friendly ghost, the friendliest ghost you know. So grown up, my look at him when fight, the children all of him so. Casper, the friendly ghost, he wouldn't be bad or mean. Isn't this a perfect setting for a spine-tingling ghost story? Well, strangely enough, this is a ghost story. Do you scare easily? Do you have nightmares? Do shadows on the wall frighten you? <laughs> well, relax. This isn't that kind of a story. And just to prove it, let me introduce a ghost that is out of this world. His name is Casper. Casper's neighbors go off on their job of scaring the daylights out of people. Contact! Casper doesn't want to go out and boo people. He wants to be friendly. Casper sees no future in this sort of life. So he decides to go out and make friends.
Can we be friends? Huh? Happily ever
there are some people who believe in ghosts, and there are some people who don't. If you're the believe in ghosts kind, then this story is about one. And if you're the don't believe in ghosts kind, well, just for fun, this story is about one anyway. His name was Casper, and he was surely the most unusual ghost there ever was, or wasn't, depending on how you feel about it. Every night, stroke of twelve, his brothers and sisters scampered out joyously to frighten the folk of the neighborhood. He'd rather stay home and not frighten people, which goes to show how unusual he really was. <laughs> Wake up, Casper! Time to scare people! <laughs> Casper just doesn't like to scare people. Yes, it sounds sort of silly, but, well, he'd just rather make friends with them. Casper just couldn't stand it any longer. So, Casper decided to leave home to seek new environments where he might forget he's a ghost and make friends with the world.
Johnny. My name is Johnny. What's yours? My name is a uh, My name is a Casper. Do you want to play with us? You mean you, you mean me? You wanna you wanna uh, play with me?
Baby goldfish come this way. But I saw some go this way, and that way, and this way. <laughs> Calling all cars, calling all cars, calling all cars, calling all cars.
gezielt. That's all today, Goldie. Please help an old lady who's cold and hungry. Let me come in and warm myself. Thank <laughs> you. 
coming at me from all directions. But was I afraid? Not old King Cole. With one mighty stroke of my trusty sword, I slew them all. The door! Answer the door! Methinks my royal subjects are not as brave as their brave king. I'll answer the door. It's unusually windy today. Sounded in my ears. Ain't you but the big royal pain in the dread of wild elephants. But was I afraid? Not old King Cole. I'm not afraid of anything. Get off the air. What was that? Ghost! <laughs> I don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> Neither do we. What sayest we take the wind out of yon wind bag? Let's give him the white. Come on, fellers. Talk, talk, talk. Brag, brag, brag. Talking, talking, bragging, bragging. Always growing, always growing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You talk too much, you talk too much. You never shut up, you talk too much.
Well, we show them who's boss around here. <laughs> we're not afraid of anything, we're not afraid at all. We're not afraid of anything, we're not afraid at all. <laughs> I crown thee Prince Felix. We're not afraid, are we? Not only. 